Our first alert continues just for a couple more hours because we're still seeing those strong winds across the region. El Paso gusting up to 46 miles per hour. Las Cruces not too far behind and Deming at 41 miles per hour coming out of the west northwest at this time. So we're not seeing a whole lot of blowing dust and sand at this point, but we are seeing a whole lot of blowing dust or not blowing dust trash. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> the winds are going to die down over the next several hours. I think really after the sun sets after seven o'clock tonight. Those peak wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour, but as you just noticed, we did see some gusts up to 46 miles per hour. So it's not to say we can't get any strong gusts out there, but the winds really should be dying over the next several hours. Let's talk about them in detail. This is five o'clock tonight. This model predicting still some gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour, but notice as we get towards seven o'clock, they even start weakening by weakening by then nine o'clock down to 30 to 35 miles per hour and then Overnight tonight, we should have overall breezy conditions. They'll really back off by tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock. You can see not a lot of wind impacts at that time. However, tomorrow will be a breezy day. Nothing too bad, though. 12 o'clock tomorrow, light wind gusts overall only about 10 miles per hour. Then as we get into the afternoon, they should pick up to about 25 miles per hour across most of our region. Once again, not as bad as what we are seeing today. And we'll expect those conditions for your Sunday as well. Saturday and Sunday look like this overall light to breezy winds. Monday winds really backing off before picking up once again for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. This is springtime. This is very typical for us this time of year. Overnight tonight it will be cool, but overall mild 40 will be the overnight low in El Paso 38 in Las Cruces and 29 in Deming. And tomorrow we'll have a quite nice day. Temperatures will soar into the upper 60s. Some locations could even see low 70s. This weekend overall, I'm giving it a green light both days. The only impact we'll have are some breezy conditions. Temperatures will feel a whole lot warmer out there. So in particular, 68 is what I'm choosing for El Paso, 64 for Las Cruces and Deming, and 59 for Alamogordo tomorrow. Let's talk about your 70 forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm. And here it is. You can see we are going to have a warming trend over the next several days. It's going to be nice and even 80 degree temperatures forecasted by Wednesday. But notice some afternoons breezy and others, including next week, windy. Sam? Hi, Katie.